This is a very quick video on how to create a keyboard shortcut for launching your screensaver on a Mac. You don't need to download any apps, you can make your own, it's very easy. Um, if you want it, uh, to make it more like a Windows box, Windows always had Windows key L to lock the screen. If your screensaver is set for a lock like mine is, you can just launch the screensaver and lock the screen, it's very easy. Um, I mean, I do have my name up here and I can click on it and hit uh, login window which will lock the screen, but uh, somebody asked me specifically for this app. so. The command is uh, system library framework screensaver dot framework resources slash screensaver engine dot app slash content slash mac os slash screensaver engine. If you ran this at a command prompt, it would launch the screensaver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and copy it. And I'm using a program called Automator. And the first part of the how to do this is to make a new service for win uh, for uh, Windows, not for Windows for uh, I, uh, OS X and to give it that one command. So I'm going to say new service. I'm going to choose it. I'm going to look for run a uh, uh, shell script because this is going to be basically shell script. There it is. I just drag it in. When you drag this in, it's going to already put the cat command in there, which is just an example of some shell script. And I'm going to paste in my command. Uh, very important, I don't want to have any input, so we need to change this from text input to no input, or otherwise it will just sit there and never run. And we'll go ahead and click run and make sure this turns on my screensaver. And it does, and I'm going to unlock it. And that unlocks my um, screensaver, so that's how it's going to work. So I have a script here, no input, and I simply save it. When I save it, I'm going to give it a name that's going to appear in the um, system's preferences pane. So I'm going to call this start my screensaver service. Hit save. I'm going to go ahead and close it. And we're going to go ahead and open the system preferences. In system preferences, the where you make your keyboard shortcuts is in the keyboard uh, control panel. And what we'll do is you'll see all these different locations you can find different shortcuts. The one we're looking for is services, and usually at the very end is where your service you just made is going to show up. And you can see it did start by screen server. I can highlight it, add a shortcut. When you add a shortcut, now you hit a keystroke that you want it to um, react on. I want to do, let's try control, control alt L. So, um, I, I know I'm not using control alt l elsewhere. If you use something that's being used elsewhere, this won't work. So it's all set. I'm going to close the system preferences. I'm going to simply hit control alt l and see if my keyboard kicks on, and it does. So there you go. Make your own. And of course you can make thousands of other things too if you know a little bit of the scripting. If you don't know where to find the script to run something or launch something, you can always just go out there and search for it.